Hello folks, welcome. Linux Mint 22 Cinnamon, codename Wilma. Today, um, if you want to consider this part two, um, I'm going to do advanced concepts when it comes down to talking about installing some retro themes and only making one folder out of all of these so you can use one massive slideshow. All of these images that are currently in this quote folder called retro are all of the images that are from Maya to Wilma. Okay. And you can also add your own image if you'd like to add that to the mix. So you may see that this one here may look familiar to you because that's this one right here. Okay. Bulwark area. And you can even see the sizes. Now, when you install these things, um, my previous video, I was doing that more for, well, for newer users of Linux Mint. Uh, and they like to use Software Manager for a lot of things. Installing and deinstalling. Which I showed how to do that independently. I'm not going to do that in this video. Uh, I've already had two users leave me messages. Hey, did you know you can do this in Terminal? Sure. I've been around the block a couple of times. Uh, but one thing that you can't do with Terminal is tell me where these are located. That you need Synaptic for. And Synaptic will tell you where these are installed. So you can copy these into one single folder if you'd like. That's the concept for today. Filming in 1080, welcome. Subscription key in the corner, 450 plus videos. So we can certainly use Terminal to install things using sudo. Okay, I'm not going to talk about that. I think most of you folks that are medium to advanced users know how to do that. But more importantly, I'm going to talk about Synaptic. What does Synaptic have to do with things? It's file locations. Synaptic is a great tool to find things when it's not uh, flat pack software. And uh, these images or backgrounds are not. So in here, Synaptic Package Manager also has legends. And if you're not too familiar with this, uh, make, uh, get comfortable with uh, what these things are. So you can use the search feature and you can type in um, Mint Backgrounds. I'm just going to put in Mint Dash Backgrounds. And I'll go full screen. And I'll drag this down a little bit until I can't see anymore. So in here, you can see where the file locations are. You can tell that green box means it's installed. Petra is not. So if I right click and do properties, installed files, you got nothing. However, if I do Maya, it is installed. I can right click and do properties and see where the files are installed. The second option, you can also turn on preferences, show package properties in main window. Normally this is off. I like that feature. Why is that? Because I can use the main window instead of right clicking on things. So if I click that, it will show me where the files are located. So this is Maya, it's installed. I'll make this smaller now. Right click, change backgrounds, Maya. This folder is located right here. If I wanted Olivia, there's where that location is. It's generally in the same area. But that's what Synaptic is good for. You can also install the rest of these if you like, and they're listed right in front of you. And you can, of course, use Terminal. But Synaptic is great on pointing out where this stuff is by installed files. So let's go find this. USR Share Backgrounds Linux Mint Dash Maya, this folder right here. You can't right click and find information this way, but I can use the file manager for this. All right, so USR Share Backgrounds. Here's the standard Linux Mint icons, or should I say backgrounds? And then you have starting with Maya. All right. So now we know where they're located. I'm going to um, pretty much put the box to the side. Maybe I'll reduce it a little bit and use Control N as a Nancy to make another one. And we are going to go to pictures and we're going to create another subcategory. So 
most of these images, I think minus these, I don't think I copied these, but I copied all of these folders all the way down to Wilma into this retro folder. I'm going to show you that concept. And when you get into duplicates, uh, we can also talk about handling that. So right click and create yourself another directory. Another name for that is folder and call it what you want. I'm going to call mine retro too, because these are retro uh, backgrounds, different names. Current pet name for Linux Mint 22 is Wilma. All right, so we have retro 2 and it's blank. Do you want these or do you want just a couple of them? Maybe these four. Well, you can certainly do that. Or you can copy all of them. There are multiple ways of selecting things. You can take, I'm using a regular computer mouse with a scroll wheel because I don't like touch pads, is I can do that and drag them all over. I can also use Control A and do this. And also if I use Control A here and hit delete, they're gone. So these keyboard equivalents, select A, control A, select all. Control C is copy, control V is paste. Okay. So I don't want to copy this one, but I want Maya, but I don't want this credit. So it's a control A, or I could also select individual items by holding the control key down and then dragging them over or do a copy and paste. But I'm going to do the whole folder minus credits. So it's Control A, holding down the Control key, deselect, drag and drop. Okay, this is going into Retro 2. So I'm making a new folder. I'm not going to do all of these. I'm just going to do a couple. All right, so you can also hold down your Control key and scroll back and forth. It's just like dragging this thing here. Holding down the Control key while scrolling resizes that if I go backwards or forward to make it bigger. You can also click on an image and hit your space bar to get a preview of what these look like. That's very simple. I've shown this many, many times. Control A, holding down the control key, deselecting credits. This time I'm going to do a control, or sorry, right click and copy and then paste. All right, we have a duplicate. How do we handle conflicts? Well, you can see by the thumbnail that these are not the same images, but they're called the same thing. We already have one existing called road, and it's that one. So I'm going to hit duplicate. And that's uh, if you want to deal with this now, we can. So I'll click out for a second, and you can see that's the copy. And here's the original, using the space bar to get a preview of what these look like. You can see there are different images. So what I'm going to do is rename this one. Since that's road, road two, we'll just call this one road three, if you want to rename them. Now we're done. Let's go to the next folder. And uh, Olivia, control A, deselecting credit. Um, we are going to use control C this time. So nothing, you can't really see what's happening other than you have something that just appeared on the bottom of the file manager and click in here and control V. So I just did a copy and paste. So there are many ways of doing this. I'll do one more. And uh, Rosa, control A, deselecting credit, because I don't want that, clicking and dragging. Kind of looks confusing at times. All right, I think I'm going to stop here. You get the idea. You can uh, mix and match by selecting individual objects in here and copying them over or all of them minus credits if you want to do that through all the folders all the way up to Wilma to make one massive file. And that's what we're doing here. This one has 247 images. This one now only has 69. Now you know where they're stored. So we're going to activate this. 69 images called Retro 2, right click, change background, plus pictures, Retro 2. Did you know you can also eliminate these? You can also do that. It's just a shortcut. All right, so pictures is back online. Retro 2 contains not as many images. And we can start our massive 
slideshows if we want or pick individual ones all from one folder if necessary static images okay that one looks familiar it came out of virginia it's this one images didn't change because they're identical that's why and you can also see the sizes now let's say i wanted to add my own personal folder uh, sorry personal images to this mix and the whole reason may, we may be doing this is because we want to do one massive slideshow and it'll be running for hours because you've got a lot of images in here let's say you wanted to put in a personal one that's pretty simple i think you can probably figure this one out uh, if i want a computer guy i just copy him and throw it into retro and i'm pretty much done right click change desktop backgrounds and again I'm using retro and here's the image it all depends on where this setting is is when it starts so if you have this off it starts with the first image then moves to the next and next and next if you have this over here in random you'll need to recycle this and it'll just start all over the place that one can be fun because you never know what's coming at you and you have tons of images in here and again all of them pretty much came from here from these folders so I'm going to turn this off okay we can also go with individual images obviously and these are static so I just took all of these and threw them into one folder if that's what you want to do and more importantly you can find them using synaptic manager whatever you installed you can find that by location there's where those are stored thank you for watching